continue this evening that Roman has done that yet. And welcome to the Custer County Historical Museum. My name is Paul Leamer. At least that's what it says on the tag they gave me. So I'm on the board of directors here. Um, we want to do a special dedication tonight of the mural that you see here beside me, uh, done by Tom Talbot. It's been a long, very long journey uh, that this painting has had. In fact, a journey of 57 years for it to get here. I did the math. <laughs> so anyway, the artist Tom Talbot grew up here in Broken Bow, and he attended high school here. Uh, his abilities as an artist were quite evident at a very young age. And at the time when he was a young man, his parents owned the Arrow Hotel across the street here. And he was uh, allowed to paint several uh, paintings or murals on the walls of the Arrow Hotel. And some of those you can still see if you go over there and, uh, and visit the hotel. In 1955, after he finished high school here, uh, he went off to Chicago to attend the American Academy of Art. And in 1964, at approximately the age of uh, 28, he was commissioned by the new Federal Land Bank and Production Credit Association uh, to do this mural. Now at the time, uh, their building, the Federal Land Bank and, and PCA building, uh, were brand new. They just built them. And it's no more than a block from here off that direction. And he painted this mural and finished it in 1964. And it stayed there in the building for quite some time. Well, there came a time when they did some remodeling. And the mural uh, was kind of on shaky ground. Uh, we didn't know if it was going to be disposed of or if someone was going to step forward and, and rescue the mural. They did cut it from the wall of the land bank, and if you could see the back of this, it still has the wall studs on it. They left those on there for support. So it's a quite heavy piece, and we'll talk more about how we got it installed here. But thanks to the art teacher in Arnold, Nebraska, Julie Moore, and her husband, who was the industrial arts teacher over at Arnold, uh, they rescued it in 2009. And it's set in Julie's uh, art classroom underneath the, the whiteboard. For those of you who know, don't know what that is, it's like a chalkboard, but it's white. Uh, <laughs> so anyway, it's set in her classroom uh, for some years. And uh, Julie and Clay, where are you at? Raise your hand. They're, Julie and Clay are over here. They're the rescuers. Um, If it hadn't been for them, uh, this piece would not be here. So, uh, they had this really great program at Arnold High School that, uh, that Clay started and Julie was involved with it too. It was called Schoolhouse Graphics, correct? And it was uh, run like a business. The kids learned how to do the business end of things and they did all sorts of production of signs, uh, posters, banners, uh, you name it. They learned the technology, some very advanced technology. It's a great program. And this is all how this got here. So two years ago, um, the schoolhouse graphics kids and Clay and Julie were out front here finishing some of the signage on our building. All of the signs outside were done by their high school group. And we were just uh, standing there, Lance Bristol was there, and uh, he was the president of the board at that time. And we were just having a little conversation. And Julie said, well, we're going to be retiring, and I've got this Tom Talbot mural, mural and I don't know what we're gonna do with it. And I looked at Lance, and Lance looked at me, and we kind of smiled and said, I think we know what we can do with that. So we took a quick trip over to Arnold, we looked at it to see what uh, would have to be done as far as the condition for the restoration. Um, so Clay was going to have some of his advanced students uh, do the, the plans and the building for this cabinetry that you see here. Well then lo and behold the pandemic hit. School closed and that kind of put an end to it. 
Uh, but Clay's got a good heart. He took it on himself and gave of his time and money to build this cabinetry. And Clay is a master uh, craftsman, and if you, the cabinetry itself is fantastic. But he uh, came over and he did a lot of measuring. He wanted to have the cabinetry uh, tie in with what we already had here at the museum. He did a lot of measuring and looking at the ca cabinetry that's behind the soda fountain over there <clears throat> so that he could match the design. And then he began the build. When the build was finished, uh, it came time to install it. So he had uh, Mike Schweitzer, who is the industrial arts teacher here in Broken Bow at the high school, which happens to be a former student of Clay's. Uh, he had Mike bring down some of his high school students and they did the installation on this. And it's a really clever installation because none of the weight is on the wall back here. It's all on this cabinetry, the way that he engineered it. Um, so we got it installed. And that was a big relief. And then we looked at it and said, okay, now we have to do the restoration. Because this was cut from the wall, and it is just on drywall, or plasterboard. There were a lot of places where nails had popped through and there were divots. Um, there were all sorts of gouges and things in the mural itself. So I got to thinking, well, who do we get to work on this? And it was logical that we bring in Laren McGinn. Uh, Laren, as a young boy, was uh, mentored by Tom Talbot. And as he grew up, he became a lifelong friend with uh, Tom. Am I saying that correctly, Laren? This is Laren over here. <laughs> and with Julie. So Laren had uh, hung out with Tom and all his life, and uh, so he understood what Tom did with his paints as far as colors and mixing and blending. So after I got busy filling all the little holes and nooks and crannies, then Laren came in and did the, the restoration painting. And the idea was to restore it so that you could not tell. And I think Laren did a very good job. Uh, he was very concerned with, he wanted to do the least that he could do so that he would not alter any of the work that Tom had originally done on it. And it, it turned out beautiful. And then Clay came over and put the final frame around it. And so that's how it got here after 57 years. Um, so at this point, and I could talk on for hours about this because it is quite a story, but I'm not going to, so don't panic. <laughs> but what I'd like to do is to, we have a very special guest here today. Uh, Tom's wife, Ginger Talbot, is here from Omaha, and she would like to come up and say a few words. So, Ginger. I'm just here to share my heartfelt and little fearful expression of thank you to the people involved in making this possible. And Tammy Hendrickson, who is the uh, manager of this of the museum, was very instrumental. <laughs> and Paul Loomer and the rest of the board. I did learn that the board members each had to bring two pies tonight. <laughs> so I asked Paul if he baked two pies. And he did tell me that he could, but he didn't, but he brought two pies. <laughs> and I also want to thank uh, Claire and uh, Clay and Julie, who are over there somewhere. Um, I had not met them until tonight, and I think I corresponded a few times with them, and it's a pleasure to meet them and to see the talent uh, that Clay has donated to the Custer County History Museum. Then I get to Laren. I've known Laren since he was 12. 
And I think now he's 24. <laughs> so for a dozen years. Tom adored Larry. And he visited us a number of times in a number of places. And I told Larry that it does my heart good to know that Larry's paint, his work, is mixed in there with Tom's. And that will be for decades. So, thank you, Larry. I just heartfelt thank you. And I don't know if Mike Schweitzer is here tonight, but he was the industrial teacher who helped get this moved into this location. And he had four students with him. And as a former teacher, I like to recognize students. And Austin Harvey, Coy Griffiths, <laughs> Rusty Woodley, and Nolan Johnson. And I appreciate the young men helping their teacher. Lastly, I'd just like to mention my gratitude for the family and friends of Tom's and mine who are here tonight. And Tom's sister, his older sister, over here, Marilyn Shim. And two of Marilyn's sons are here. Mike Shin, and I know Doug was here, not seeing him right now, but uh, those are the closest relatives to uh, Tom. But there are a number of Talbots here, and some of them have come from some distance. Uh, some of them, like this young man, Scott, uh, I saw as an infant, a uh, youngster, now he's grown up. <laughs> and he has a son who's here. And uh, there are a number of uh, Fensky children here and Austin. And I just appreciate all of you and Tom's classmates, a number of you are here. And thank you so much for being a part of the installation of my late husband's work. Thank you very much. So, in recognizing everyone that was involved with this project, um, starting, of course, with Ginger and her inspiration and her help with it, and uh, Tammy, Tammy Hendrickson, Julie and Clay Moore, without them we would not have this here, uh, Laren McGinn and his artistic talent, um, Julie Clem setting back there put together the whole history um, of the uh, Federal Land Bank and the PCA and it's over here on the counter if you want to take a look at it so thanks to her too so today we're very pleased to give the mural a new home but not only to celebrate the installation of this mural but also to honor the artistic legacy that Tom gave to Custer County through his artistic endeavors so we're proud to say their life was the land and the land was good. Thank you.